All right, hello everyone. I'm going to create a small tutorial showing you how to randomize the color of a cube or any other game object that has a default material on it. First off, we're going to create a cube. I'm going to reset the transforms and just drag it up slightly. Next, I want to move my camera to get a best view of it. So I'm going to position myself in the scene view. Click my main camera, and I can either go here and align with view, or the shortcut is Control Shift F. What that does is brings that camera right to where I was. So if I wish it was here, do the same thing. There you go. Easy enough. Next thing, uh, my lighting is already built, but if you ever see your scene and it looks tan, as so, it doesn't look quite right. It's because your lighting's not yet built. Easy way to fix that. Go to Window, Rendering, Lighting. Come over to your environment if you need to. Directional lights are already in place. And you're just going to generate lighting. You'll see the scene lights up just a little bit more. Next, we want to create the script that goes on this. So I'm going to add a component. I've already got a name here that I'm searching for called Color Randomize. If it does not find it, it'll tell you to create a new script. You could do it this way, or we could go to Scripts and create it here and drag and drop it onto the object. Either way is fine. The only problem with creating it here is when you do this, it does not automatically place it into your uh, script folder. You're going to have to do that yourself. So once that finalizes, go back. Color randomize is outside of our script folder. We can just drag and drop it right in there. And we're good to go. Next, we're going to open this up. Visual Studio. Um, they've got a really easy thing for this, um, for our color randomize. We've got a function we can use. So what I'm going to do is create a new function called change color. And inside of this, we're going to call that function. But before we can do that, I'm going to need a reference to this cube's mesh render. I need this render and this material here. So we'll make it a public mesh renderer. Call it mesh renderer, easy enough. In start, we can either grab uh, this by doing a get component. The easiest way to do it right now, since it's a small script, we could go right back in Unity it loads. Here we go. And you can see now it has a mesh render. We could drag this and drop it right in there. But I want to show you something. If you do not do that, what will happen? So once we have this reference, what I want to do is on input dot get key down key code space so anytime I press space, I want it to call this new function I just created, change color. And within change color here, we'll do mesh render dot material dot color equals random. And the first one that pops up is color HSV and it randomizes the color for you. Close that out. So now, if I do not fill this, uh, fill this in, nothing will happen. I'll show you what I mean. Click play. And as I go to hit space, nothing happens, but we do get an error down here telling us that we do not have, it's a no reference. So I can press space as many times as I want, nothing's going to happen. 
the way we fix that is we need to tell it what mesh renderer we wish to use. Drag and drop that in there. Press play again. And now when I press space, it randomizes the color. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, this is easier than trying to set random values from 0 to 255 for each one. Another thing we can do, we can have it change color immediately on start. And since this is using a space bar, I can duplicate this cube and it will do this across however many I wish. Now if I press play, all three would be different colors based on randomization. Same thing happens if I now press space. Enough. And that will conclude this tutorial. Thank you.